Okay, campers, rise and shine, and don't forget your booties because it's cold out there today. It's cold out there every day. What is this, Miami Beach? Not hardly. I am Roos SR, going to be doing commentary for this nasty Master Seed, joined by the ever-knowledgeable Zemsis. How are you doing today? I'm doing great, Roos, and I don't know what you are talking about, uh, seeing how you said it's called. Uh, we have a German matchup today, Lifter vs. Sirius, and let me tell you, it is many things right now, but cold it is not, with above 30 degree temperature basically everywhere. Uh, they hopefully won't only sweat in horror. <laughs> Well, maybe just because I uh, made that joke, we're going to get cursed with a very thorough uh, uh, forlorn ex uh, exploration today. We will find out. This is a master seed, so we will be expecting to see just the absolute nastiest of tricks of having to very thoroughly explore this seed. Uh, we are in the semifinals right now, so both of these racers have come out victorious uh, previously. We have got Liftoff facing against Sirius. What can you tell us about these racers, Zemsis? We have two incredibly experienced master runners here. Uh, I know that at least Sirius kinda has made his way through all of the help vendors, and I think Liftoff also has made his way to at least most of them. So they definitely know all the strats uh, that master requires, and then about three times more afterwards. Both of these have obviously won their first match, so uh, are comfortable with playing master and. Yeah, honestly, I think it's going to be very, very interesting uh, how much routing will take effect here today, or if it's just going to be... You know what? A grenade stompless. I want to see first grenade stompless and see who of our two runners can do it first. Oh god, that is a horrible, horrible trick, and I really, really want to see it. Uh, I think Master is particularly interesting because there are so many things available to you that these runners' ability to route becomes incredibly important and deciding how long do you want to spend on a trick if you're having trouble with it can really come into effect as well. Um, I think Sirius mentioned to me before the race that um, they're going to be trying to focus more on going towards the harder tricks because they believe that um, a lot of the easier stuff tends to get left out by the logic planner. So you might be seeing some really difficult tricks like Iceless and things like that out of Sirius. And I think if we can see some good execution, we're going to get a great show out of Sirius today. Looks like the racers are going to be starting in about 30 seconds or so, so we, be, we should be getting off to uh, something cool. And Zemsis, what do you want to see from our very first skill here? Okay, so let's let's go by principle of exclusion. I don't want to see Bash at all today, thank you very much. If we get a Bash seat in Master, it's just going to be Bash, and then uh, I guess your next six skills are in Sorrow, so let's not do that for, for, for a change here. Um, yeah, what would be a nice skill set? I think I want to see a double jump start because double I jump was... can go in so many interesting ways, especially with triple jump and double jump while interaction coming into play. I was just about to say double jump myself. Double jump and no wall interaction is my favorite form of Master Seed because you just have to sit there and mash and mash and mash to get up those walls. It's a real test of execution just constantly and really can show off how uh, much these runners Starting off pretty basic here, um, we're going to be going off and getting Sign, which we are, of course, required to get. And then after that, we'll be off to the races exploring through Glades to find out where our first green text skill is going to be. Indeed, there aren't that many extra pickups, but one kind of, you already alluded to what uh, how Sirius wants to route for more difficult pickups, right? Master kind of has this thing where if a path requires a high, has a high difficulty area or a high difficulty path, it's more likely to be taken. And we have exactly one high difficulty pickup available to us at the start, which is the short swim in glades, fake flippers. So I want to see my double jump right there. That would be lovely. And of course, that is um, a pickup that almost every runner checks, even when they're doing standard. So definitely don't expect to see either of our runners having any difficulty with it. But it's uh, always still something that can give you a little bit of trouble, especially if that fish decides to be problematic. Let's keep our eyes peeled here for that first thing we can find that's going to open up new area because we do have such limited pickups available to us right now. Uh, going to be collecting these keystones and then what's going to find? Just a vanilla keystone here. 
Yeah, you said that collecting these keystones, we might obviously just get two keystones into a standard wall jump loop. And looks like that's what we're going to get unless there is something below here. Obviously, two keystones also means uh, the entire keystone logic starts getting relevant. And we have one underwater keystone here. So both of our runners choosing to leave that behind. I agree with this play. It would take quite a bit of time, especially with new alt R putting you to the teleporter to keep this. But if we only get a single extra keystone, namely this one here, and then have to head into spirit caverns that could come into play later. We'll see if it happens or if it doesn't. So far, we go down into the wall jump area first to the map pedestal here on the right. We can see if we get anything here or if we just walk a bit longer. All right, second keystone is here. So uh, you can get, uh, you can keep that keystone down in the water forever, I guess, at this point uh, with two keystones available. Key dupe is available on the upper spirit cavern's cavern, uh, uh, keystone door. And that's faster than going back the, uh, for fake flippers. So. Don't expect that anytime soon, but we are down to one check now. So uh, hopefully skill soon, or I guess just Swamp TP. I want to see a Swamp TP on the wall jump tree here, so we can just continue to see this incredibly starred beginning, which is basically just keystones entirely. Um, yeah, as you mentioned, both runners were rewarded for their decision to continue exploring this way instead of going back for the keystone. One of the things about Master is not letting yourself get sidetracked, investing too much time into one-off pickups when, ooh, charge jump. I'm going to interrupt myself and say that is an incredibly powerful skill we have just gotten. That's so much verticality. We do, of course, want some kind of wall interaction to go along with that if we can get it, but this is still a huge amount of stuff that just opened up for our runners here. Yeah, and this is indeed a tournament seed. Also, nice double mega health here. And I really like what our runners are doing. So, uh, with Old Alt R, basically the only time it was faster to climb out of this area than to backtrack after an Alt R. Oh, actually, Liftoff was going to Blackroot first. But the, the only time it was faster was if you had Charge Jump but didn't have Dash. Now, with new Alt R, it takes longer to get here from Alt R ring. So, uh, backtracking with Charge Jump just becomes even more faster and we have those two keystones so we can do our five checks and spirit caverns even if we probably cannot continue to growth and the uh, tree above right afterwards uh, but still it is it is uh, seconds that you can save or you can just get stomp and black root that's the other option very interesting here. So the stomp is going to open up a few things for liftoff. Now, the thing to keep in mind is Sirius is going to have to go to this area because we do want to go get those trees. Um, whereas Sirius has gone to a, a slightly more optional area by going to Spirit Cavern so that whether or not liftoff will choose to invest the time to go over there will remain to be seen. I think it's quite likely, but we don't know for sure yet. Sirius now going to Black Root as well. Oh, maybe not. a maybe long flippers check, I think. So we saw Sirius backload there after uh, taking the damage boost on the spikes on the top left keystone. That tells to me, oh, or maybe he just wants the, to open up yeah, that's, that's a Frankie walk. So we're opening up Death Gauntlet. Can't quite make it through since we do not have wall interaction or bash or dash for hyper speed or a rocket jump or all that good stuff. But uh, we do have the option. Oh, this is magnetless, right? So uh, yeah, we, we're going to need a very good Frankie kill here to get our Frankie walk done. Let's see. Oh, slides off the wall, but can, can recover and now just needs to lure the Fronky. Oh, one oh, XP, the other drops down. And oh my goodness, this oh is so my close. God. Oh, ah, sad. He's thinking about backloading, but deciding to not go for it. Also didn't check above Fronky walk, interestingly enough. So that means Liftoff now has uh, quite the advantage since Sirius did not gain any extra checks, only that one ability cell he got. And Liftoff is already on the Crusher then. So I think eyes on the left for the next time so we can see where the seed is taking us. One ener more energy already found. So uh, maybe it is those four energies in two plates, huh? Yeah, this is kind of going to what I was talking about, about not spending too much time getting invested in going for high risk things um, if you have other uh, other options available. Sirius spent a pretty decent chunk of time 
going for that Farky Walk, and unfortunately it didn't end up paying off, so that's gonna be um, a pretty hefty lead to lift off, at least for the time being. But this is Master, where anything can happen, so definitely don't expect that lead to hold the entire time. We will still probably see at least a few flip-flops here and there. Yes, absolutely. We've seen that in Infinite's match, where uh, things happened TM, but in the end it was still a super close race, and lead changes left and right. That was... It was pretty amazing, and that was just classic master. No Sirius also got his stomp, lost his mega health in the process, but nice micro ledge. We have glide on on the left side here for a lift. Of so charge jump, glide, and stomp. That's a really interesting skill set, honestly. Uh, in the sense of I can't really think of any master. Oh wait, I can think of one thing, and that would be where Sunstone. Ooh, interesting. So this is a this is definitely a powerful skill set. It can get to a lot of places, but it's not very fast yet. Our racers would definitely like something like bash or dash. We, of course, being the audience, do not want them to get those things that make things easier. We will want to see them suffer. Otherwise, we wouldn't be here watching a master seed. Uh, Sirius will just be continuing through the standard path through Blackheart, and we'll be finding Glide for himself. So for the time being, we'll keep our eyes to the left here as liftoff goes down towards the dash tree area. Yeah, so this is one of the... So there are some master paths down there if you start ducking below the laser, so we can uh, see, but looks like liftoff actually wants to go to grenade tree first. So this is still force tree, so uh, tree advantage and all that stuff does matter a lot. We've seen that uh, come into play too in previous matches. Doesn't quite get the one zombie here, so we'll need to spend the second ability point to get through, maybe drop down the safe to get enough health to our damage boost here to get the upper spikes. But uh, funnily enough, the grenade area is like the one place that isn't actually in Master Logic with the skill set because the double duck strat has only recently be fa been found, so uh, we don't have that in Master yet. You, you still require double jump or anything to stall. Uh, so yeah, we were not gonna get that much progression information probably in here, but we are gonna get an extra tree, and that is tree three, so we are gonna get a clue from it. That's interesting that this isn't in logic. I wouldn't have guessed that myself. Um, definitely when you're playing Master, a lot of times it can pay off to just ignore logic and clear areas while you're there, just because, you know, there's a pretty good chance you might find, like, one skill that puts this back in and you don't want to backtrack. So definitely an understandable routing decision here, and like you said, getting access to that clue means buying some precious information to find out what areas they're going to want to be searching in more thoroughly. Indeed, so eyes on the left, once grenade tree gets activated, we will hopefully uh, find out that sunstone is in Grotto. That's what I want to see here, because charge jump stomp light is just such a go-to horror set. It's in Grove, that's still very, very close, unless that's grenade lock, that's basically accessible, right? So, uh, gro nice Grotto TP underwater in Grotto, so we can even get further up from there and maybe check death gauntlet pickups from the right utilizing the teleporter Sirius just found if if our two runners could match their information uh, that would be great sadly for them that's not how this works uh, looks like liftoff is gonna get the one-off check out of the way now i'm interested to see if we're gonna see a spirit caverns into grove play afterwards or if we are heading into grotto i can see arguments uh, being done for both but seeing how he walks I think it is going to be growth, but eyes on the right, Sirius putting, doing a nice hop slide, rock slide, very, very nicely done. 71 and 52 XP, not quite what you want to want to get after a trick like that, but still very, very nice execution on that hop slide. Yeah, that trick is much harder than it looks when you see it done cleanly like that. I usually take, you know... 5, 10, 15, 20 tries <laughs> to do that, whatever it takes, but uh, yeah. Definitely looked really nice and clean there. Um, I'm, I'm liking the decision from liftoff here. The thing about um, Gumo's hideout is that there's a lot of blue plants in here. So coming here once you have breakage is very nice. Now that said, it is a really dense area, even if you don't have the blue breakage. So this decision could certainly haunt liftoff. But, um, you know, I definitely understand the routing choices being made here, I think. Yes, and also... Um... I'm just saying, but if we get one more energy, that's, uh, hey, our dear, dear, dear friend, Glazer. 
might be might be a case. Probably not, seeing how this is master and uh, none of the paths to get the energy were particularly hard and Glade says a standard path, but it does come into play right now. All those four energy cells were in logic, so we already know there's two more keystones up here in Spirit Caverns and the map stone, so can continue if we want to, or we cannot do it, uh, whatever. Uh, Sirius barely not getting spiked there on the right while stalling with Glide. Glide actually coming in really useful, nice ghost store, and that means Sirius will also get his third tree anytime now, seeing how he is down in the double jump area, has two more checks here in Gumo's hideout, and can then uh, probably use Grotto TP and clean up there or just go to one of the two other accessible trees, both options, doing his classic reload. Um, speaking of which, I want to mention this is 4.0, so we have the Alt R that opens the teleport menu, right? So using an, a safe anywhere to skip uh, the tree animation and get blind movement really pays off every single time if you teleport out afterwards. Don't even need to do the blind movement, just Activate the teleporter. So uh, that's great. Liftoff uh, being pointed out by the truck did spend the last of his keystones on that door here to get access to Grove and look for that sunstone as well as more progression. So potentially a little risky if he could uh, run out of keystones because uh, he now also doesn't have access to that location to do a key dupe either. But, you know, the, the seed is always going to be forced to give you enough keystones to progress. It could just become really nasty to find out exactly where they're at. So we'll have to keep an eye on those keystones on the left-hand side. Yeah, we already know about one keystone now that uh, Liftoff didn't check, which is the uh, keystone <laughs> right here in the laser area. Luckily for Liftoff, no skill around this right side BRB, so skipping that will not come back to haunt him unless he actually really requires that keystone later. Can now do this one extra check here in Grove which could totally be Sunstone. You know, I, I feel like I'm cursing Sunstone away from the seed right now instead of summoning it, but uh, I, I will continue trying until we get a horror seed. I'm calling very deep in Horu Field somewhere. That's When I see Grove, that's immediately what I think of. Uh, all I can think of when I see Grove is how it's absolutely going to be grenade locked. <laughs> yeah. Ah, but looks like we got some sets, so Liftoff now doesn't really have another choice but to head over into Gumo's hideout, and I don't remember if there was any keystone in there. So uh, if there isn't, then it's going to be a very sad Liftoff, seeing how the key tube on the double jump door is really horrible. Uh, luckily there was a keystone right here, so... All of my, my Doom saying doesn't have any effect. Liftoff can just continue and then also get his Grotto TP. But really interesting so far, right? With, uh, with the combined checks our two runners have done here, there isn't really much left. It's, it's probably forced Grotto TP progression at this point. Yeah, we're uh, definitely starting to run low on stuff that this skill set can get access to. Looks like we're going to see Sirius go over towards the... Um the glades are pick up here, which is definitely one of the slower ones, but we are starting to get to the point where we need to start checking these things. And if this pays off big, there's a good chance that liftoff will take a little while to get here. So this could be the kind of play that Sirius needs to get that advantage back over liftoff from the uh, from the mistakes earlier. Indeed, and also honestly, there isn't that much time separation, seeing how grenade tree wasn't anything. Oh, a map stone. Those can actually become very, very relevant, especially uh, after just using the Alt 2 there. Sirius noticing we only turned one in so far. I really like the play Sirius did earlier there. Oh, it's a Goomon seal. Okay, that might come into play later. Not quite yet. But going back to those map stones, we have map stones turned in in Grotto and Glades. That means the map pedestal right next to Blackroot is still uh, unused, which you can just use the moment you have you, you need to alt r anyway so i really like keeping that open for later here so i don't want to jinx these runners too badly but i would like to point out that i talked about um pretty thorough forlorn exploration before the match started and we just got the gumon seal very early into this seed so we may be seeing a little bit a little bit of frosty times coming up here pretty soon uh and now i'm thinking about you know, we, we could also have a funny type of seat where we get Fallon Teleporter, the one dungeon teleporter that's actually in competitive uh, item pool. 
and then have to climb out backwards through fall on approach into Misty. That would be great. Oh, that sounds beautiful. Oh, that's the only thing I want to see out of this seed now. Like that's I, <laughs> you've put it in my head, and I need it now. Uh, ask Randy really nicely, and maybe maybe we can get to see this today. Nice. Nice utilization of a zombie plus a micro ledge there from Sirius. Getting another map store underwater and he immediately decides to keep that spending four more ability points on it. But seeing how he still has five left, honestly very understandable. And we're making progress in the blue tree, so that's always good. Was thinking about doing another zombie here to kind of mitigate the mistake a bit, but I can definitely understand wanting to keep some of these points. Uh, at this point, seeing how everything now is like a two or three pointer health on top of the tree. Now that's the kind of stuff that can get a bit scary the moment Grove gets into play because uh, I think the, the butter cell is four health with Stomp and Master. Uh, you know, I'd have to ask somebody who's a little bit more of an expert on the logic than me, unfortunately. I really liked the heads up play from Sirius there, by the way, keeping the ability menu up to give uh, the ability to spend those points to keep that pickup after taking damage in the water, then also continuing it all the way through to skip that cutscene as well. Does mean that that teleporter in Grove is not going to be accessible, but you know, given that they have um, things like charge jump and whatnot, they, they do have a lot of ways to get back to this area even without that teleporter, so um, saves him from having to watch that cutscene, which is pretty long. True. I, I really like this too, as long as this wall gets stomped, uh, because otherwise we might have a problem later. But yeah, Sirius stomping the wall, now gonna pull the lever, check above Sea Flame 3 is what I'm expecting here. Oh, there's a micro ledge there, I didn't even know about that, that's funny. Uh, but I guess there's a micro ledge there, it's just Ori in a nutshell at this point. Yeah. Can you actually make this without pulling the lever? Oh, you can, that's nice. So yeah, I guess it's uh, time to high five in Death Gauntlet and Grotto after after all this road divergence, we're finally reaching the same areas here. Yeah, that's really cool to see. I love, anytime you see these big splits, I always love to see when the racers come back together and we kind of get a moment to see what the progress is like between the two runners. And really, it looks pretty much even. I mean, neither of them has any real notable advantage. I mean, you have to imagine Liftoff is going to get that um, that Goomon seal from turning another map stone. So that's not really a notable advantage on Sirius' side. And we have complete skill parity here as well. So it's really going to come down to who sees that green text first here, I think. Yeah, I, I'd say Liftoff has about 1.5 minutes on Sirius just from already having Grenade Tree and you need to get that at some point. And and then like 30 seconds more of Grotto Exploration, but that's really it, yeah. So uh, at this point, where where could our dear green tanks be? Uh, underwater right here in the for energy door maybe? Uh, Maybe we get some required micro ledges. We, we can't have swamp drain because that requires spending an ability point to get the uh, to get the underwater stomp. So can't be that uh, at this point. Oh, now I need to remember there was a micro ledge going up to Grove, right? <laughs> I believe so. I honestly I would believe that there's a micro ledge on every single wall in Ori if you told me. Oh, and look on the left, Liftoff actually getting Wind Restored, so we have Glide Wind. Does that actually open anything for us though? Um, I think the answer is no right now. <laughs> um, trying to think, because they can't get to the Swamp Loop yet, can they? Because that's the only thing nearby that they could maybe get access to. We're still a little short of being able to get to that. I mean, it. it oh, oh man, well, there's a the Swamp Teleporter though. <laughs> Now suddenly it does actually matter. Yeah, I guess that's that's our progression here. Uh, go into Grotto to get Grotto TP, then drop down from Grotto TP to get Swamp TP. So what are we gonna find after we drop down from Swamp TP? We're gonna find out soon. Uh, Liftoff has now gotten his wind restored. Will Sirius keep it? Ah, uh, thinking about it. Yes, decides to teleport back to Grotto. As long as he backtracks now, he will also get Swamp TP in about a minute. But for now, on the left, Liftoff is the first person to get into Swamp on our nice double teleporter start here. And we'll see what actually is logical progression here. I really like your idea of uh, putting Sunstone, you know, maybe under the breakable floor in uh, Horror Fields, the, the, the gigantic log. 
which we can reach with the skill set, I think. So uh, maybe put Sunstone right there in front of Horu and then Alt R and go back. <laughs> oh man. Oh man, we're in for some exciting times here potentially. Yeah, I think with um, with charge jump and glide, I believe they can get over there, and then they've got they've got stomp and everything too. And let's see what Sirius does now with that swamp teleporter. Is he going to also? Yep, immediately going to go over there and follow in a very similar path as as liftoff is doing here. And so we might get divergence if Sirius now decides to go to the right. Otherwise, uh, otherwise, I guess it is fine one way or another. Also getting word from the track that Horror Fields is actually not in logic with the skills and uh, I think that is because if you watch the R1 cutscene, the pillar you need to jump up there actually gets broken. So uh, for softlock prevention this path isn't actually master. But Sunstone is just there sitting at the entrance of Horror Fields. So while the Horror the... Fields pickups aren't there, I'm pretty sure Charge Jump and Glide gets you to Horror Front or even in standard logic. So I did technically say I did technically say Horror Fields for Sunstone, so uh, I I was very, very technically right, although we would I think barely count that. And uh, yeah, we're seeing liftoff put this into effect here. Gonna be gliding over the spooky lava here and gonna be making a few checks over at the front door of Horu here. Well, meanwhile, Sirius finding clean water in the swamp loop. That's gonna make um, a lot of those swims considerably easier. Doesn't have to worry about having to do any of the nasty master, uh, master logic damage boosts in the water. Yeah, but this might also just be a giant red herring because now with charge jump, Dom clean water, like all the all the swamp swims are uh, uh, are very easily doable, right? And those take a long time, so might take a while until Sirius actually goes to Haru. Speaking of Haru, lift up has entered it. It looks like we might actually get some Haru stuff done here, but I don't think there's actually that much our runners can do. Would need like one more skill. <laughs> Obviously, uh, a climb, a wall jump would do a lot here. Double jump too seeing how it's master but uh now no, i'm now i need to think uh can they really do anything more than the outside checks and door warp here yeah i think it's just the the lower few pickups without any wall interaction or bash or something like that finding a map stone which we do know from Sirius' side is just a little bit of experience unfortunately but you know always working towards those higher numbers which if there's something important on it it's good to have those map stones for um all right, continuing to see Sirius do all of these swamp swims here. I, I've got a good feeling about the swamp swim here. I think we're going to get something on this map stone. I also think we're going to get something on this map stone, but the something is just a keystone. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, apparently, um, L2 is in logic. So, uh, uh, sorry, F L4 is in logic by using the door warp. So uh, that's funny. Uh, might actually be a progression path here, seeing how that We've got is. got something real big on the right-hand side there. Sirius just found Dash right outside the Keystone door. And uh, that now that already has, uh, already has charged Dash, that is going to just completely break open this seed for Sirius. Uh, basically, go mode. Doesn't need hardly anything else other than to just go to the trees and get the keys. And um, Sirius better... Or, sorry, um, Liftoff better come and get this real quick, or Sirius is about to run away with this seed very, very quickly. Yeah, true, alright. I uh, guess all our speculation is just sad. We're just getting Dash handed on a silver platter here in Swarm. And as you mentioned, every single second a runner has Dash, they are going to make more and more time up on their opponent. And look at this, Sirius immediately going into Grenade Tree, and Dash is probably the best thing you can find uh, to make up time on grenade tree area, right? Liftoff had to do all these zombies, then the, the healing back up part and all of that stuff. Meanwhile, Sirius just jumps through the entire area, can now do a charge dash rocket jump combo if he wants to, or take it the normal way. In this case, we're going to see a baneling rocket jump uh, accidentally homes in on the bird, but we're already at, uh, at our safe anywhere spot. 
So that means grenade is gotten. We also have our logical blue break, seeing how Dash breaks blue plants. And that's uh, in charge, Dash is already an expert. So yeah, we can either do a lot of cleanup now, a lot of horror now, or we could try to do some really fun in a lot of quotation mark uh, micro ledge stuff to get into left side looks to me though that Sirius is going to grove and checking some stuff around there yeah i think that's a really good decision Sirius knows that that is where the sunstone is so spending some time exploring there could both find the sunstone as well as progression and double jump paying off huge holy cow all right that's go mode right that at that's go mode, unless water vein is grenade locked, we can finish the seat at this point. Uh, 27 minutes in. Master expects you to do a triple jump ultra defense shenanigans, so uh, I guess that's that's on the planter now. But we can use that to go left side here, so health is still a bit low, I guess, but otherwise everything is very, very fine. Uh, I guess the one kind of sad thing here for Sirius is he hasn't checked Horror Fields yet, so he doesn't actually know that Sunstone is right there. Uh, can't quite get to that yet, and I wouldn't be surprised if we just see a clear towards left side, because then we can just continue on from there on and just head immediately into... Uh, Valley of the Wind if we just walk left. We'll see if Sirius decides to do that or something else, but the option is there. Meanwhile, Liftoff still on the swim. We already know this is just the Keystone. Actually, deciding to keep it for now and swimming back out, but really wondering if Liftoff really has a reason to come back to Grove and check that plant because, uh, yeah, double jump is pretty huge, especially when you get access to Storm Cancer through it. Yeah, um, I would definitely say Sirius is in the driver's seat here. Both um, had dash for longer and now has double jump. The advantage that Liftoff does have is he already has the Sunstone. I have to imagine that won't end up saving him that much time because when it comes time for Sirius to be digging for the Sunstone, he's going to find that pretty quickly, I imagine. But if there's any, uh, any you know, ace up the sleeve that Liftoff has, that's got to be it. Maybe some better routing choices for the rest of the seed could um, could be enough to still give him the lead. But uh, yeah, this is Sirius's race to win right now, I would say. Yeah, but it is not trivial, right? This means uh, we're going to need to do, I guess, with the amount of ability sets we have, we can just zombie through Sorrow. But uh, Sorrow, getting into Sorrow and doing Sorrow both aren't trivial on the skill set. And uh, heading into Valley at least will require one good micro ledge or we just zombie. Both are options here. Let's see how Sirius does. Sh chooses to go for the zombie. Also, I totally remember we have been restored. Don't you worry. <clears throat> Uh, thank you for the track for that. Also, I like this. Just keeping DSA open and doing some extra zombies when you uh, take an unfortunate death here to not lose a bunch of time. That, that works out great. So there's one problem here. Sirius is on one energy and we kind of need to go all the way up to Kuro. Uh, probably gonna hope for an energy drop here. Uh, sadly, it does only get health, so less health than before. So uh, I guess we wait now for regeneration here while Liftoff uh, cleans through all the plants. But sadly, we know Grotto is the wrong plant area. We need to be in Grove. This is pretty unfortunate for Sirius here. This is a, a, it's just a really bad place to try and teleport back to because all the teleporters are so far away and energy valley. region is very slow. We, we could just get Valley TP at this point and uh, refill on there. Would obviously mean watching the Kuro cutscene. Uh, but there's this, this tiny spot where the kill plane doesn't extend to, so we could just activate the teleporter. All right, Sirius now has his one energy, so we're gonna do a, a, maybe a spider stomp here? Yeah, uh, it, that, that was uh, checking how much health the spider has, so now we can start doing these. And ah, oh, the rocket jump, barely not enough, but that's exactly what we're trying to do here. Refreshing our jumps on the spider and then getting a good rocket jump. I think you can actually weave around that corner though, so that would be an option. Uh, but it looks like Sirius is actually gonna head back, maybe farm some XP, maybe go to the... 
go to the teleporter. Well, anyways, while he is doing this, Liftoff finally found his double jump, so he can now be on the chase. And look at that, he's going left immediately. So I would expect... A oh my god, that's slow though. Getting robbed of the rocket jump. But I would expect our runners to come close very soon, seeing how Sirius really wants some extra energy here. Yeah, Sirius is losing quite a bit of time to trying to get up through this area, and Liftoff now with that double jump is just making a beeline right for where Sirius is, so um, looks like Sirius is going to just go get the teleporter like you mentioned, but definitely gave up a lot of his lead there. We are suddenly back into having a race again, I would say. Yes, indeed. Um, also, it's, it's those tiny things, right? Liftoff has more resources here. Not more health, but more energy. And we have seen that energy is actually our bigger constraint here. As long as you have your 5 health or whatever it is to take uh, one hit of the Sorrow Spikes on your current level of defense, you're fine. So uh, getting extra energy for extra rocket jumps really is a good thing. And oh my god, the charge dash redirect killing the spider so that's some extra time loss but now Sirius has made it up and that means he can just straight up float over to the Kuro rocks no no crazy redirects necessary no rocket jumps necessary even though we're still gonna do them for some extra speed there we go uh, and that means one extra tree for Sirius here on the right I do have to point out, after all that time spent trying to farm an energy drop, when Sirius killed that spider, it, as if to mock him, dropped energy. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, thank you, Ori. That, that, that's surely an Ori thing. Uh, so Liftoff actually having a tiny problem here, uh, seeing how we just talked about Sirius waiting for energy region. Um, yeah, Liftoff also ran out of energy, had to wait, but luckily it was at a plan, so the level up will refill him back to 8 energy and he can now start chasing Sirius here. Meanwhile, Sirius is going around on the left side, rocket jumping up and can now float into Sorrow. Second hint on the trees was just the Gohan Seal hint, so... We still don't quite know where Water Vein is. Uh, the seed still could give us Water Vein Haru, even though seeing how it just threw everything at us so far, I don't quite believe in it anymore. But hey, it's an option. So let's see where we go for now. The series actually checking some extra pickups here on the way in Sorrow. I think uh, Sirius mentioned that he likes getting some extra checks in high difficulty areas in, such as Sorrow and Horu, just because Master is more likely to place things there. So uh, that that might be why we're getting some extra checks here. Oh, and uh, yeah, I, I totally forgot. We need to do SBS strats here, huh? Yeah, somebody gets Mashia in here. She's uh, the expert at this trick. Every time I play with her and I have to do this one, I'm like, um, can you show me the setup again? <laughs> it's a surprisingly difficult it. trick. Very good, yeah. very good. Um, so definitely, um, I understand the reason you would want to be a little bit more thorough in here. These runners do not know where Water Vein is still. And so if, they, if uh, Sirius lucks out and finds it in here, that's going to save him a lot of time. Uh, also worth still looking for map stones potentially because um, Water Vein could be on a high map stone. And uh, you know, even if you take the time to go get sense or something like that, high map stone Water Vein could still troll you pretty hard. Indeed, sense obviously doesn't help with Water Vein, so, uh, or rather with map stones. So yeah, if we get the high map stone Water Vein, getting those extra checks out of the way is really good. Also, uh, Sirius heads up here, duping up to 8, so if Water Vein is accessible, he has the 4 keystones for Lower Ginso. No one has ever stood on a, at a closed door in Lower Ginso before, after all, and is now getting his charge jump tree. That means we can go down to Valley, do Misty, and finally find out where that last dungeon key is. So Sirius maintaining about a 1-3 lead here right now, as uh, Liftoff is currently watching Kuro Rocks falling down and then gonna get his tree seven little bit of a high five here and now we can head into almost all skills misty we're just missing bash but at this level uh it doesn't really look that different whether you have bash or you don't <laughs> We can definitely expect to see Sirius be very thorough with checks in the first half of Misty here because if the Water Bane is in here and he skips it, that's a really big time loss of having to redo Misty and get back to it. 
Um, but you know, once uh, once he gets to that tree and finds out where his clue is, he'll know if he needs to continue deeper into Misty or go start searching somewhere else. And uh, I, my fingers are crossed for Mapstone or Forlorn for the for the water vein. I think. You know, I I want it to be grenade locked, and then we get to see Forlorn anyways. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Uh, or we can have it on a map stone with all map stones grenade locked. Um, yeah, that would be a two-hour seat at this point, I think. <laughs> but it would t it would take something on that level because this seat has been exceptionally kind for a master seat so far. It truly has been. It has mostly just been a chain of uh, well, it it was really just dirty water swims, right? It, it's it's mostly been oh yeah, I guess we can put pickups now into dirty water. So. Uh, that was where all the progression was in here. Lift of getting the SPS uh, set up very, very well to can also now head to his next tree. Let's look at the keystone count nine. He does not need to dupe, so he can make up quite a bit of time here. Sirius actually failed one of the dupes, so took extra time there. That means uh, on the on the Sorrow versus Misty tree, we're still keeping oh, it's one. Misty. And it's water vein Misty. All right, there is one pick up here. Okay, that did would be um, hilarious. Did Sirius check that and that orb at the top of the S bend? It looked like he missed it. If if he missed that, he might Oh, if if that's the water vein and he does the rest of it, then that's uh that's really bad. That's a huge amount of time lost doing the back half of Misty. It's true. I, I I was looking at lift off screen, so I don't know if he picked it up. But you're right. If if there's one pickup missed in Misty, and especially in the first half, um, at this point, honestly, lift off will take the lead if Sirius actually missed the pickup in the first half, and that's the water rain because the first half of Misty is faster than the second half. So we're, we're going to be able to see that uh, any time now. For now, it is, however, time to full clear this area and hopefully, uh, hopefully for our runners, not hopefully for us viewers, to not get the water vein being on the grenade lock pickup. But uh, possible locations are shrinking and shrinking. Sirius has two extra checks here in the second half of Misty, and one of them is grenade lock. So really, just the mini boss and the S band XP are our two options for our water and we're going to figure out which one it is very very soon look at lift off screen here and uh, as, as he progresses through this last part of the first half of Misty and then look on Sirius screen once he is done with the Goomons here carrying one of the two runners is going to find water and, and that's where the lead is going to be Oh my goodness, I cannot believe how much of the seed is going to come down to where the water vein is here. Okay, lift off on the left-hand side. This is the pickup that he missed. It's not the water vein. That means Sirius is going to find it here unless, 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 Tim, unless yep. the grenade locked pickup. What if it is? Oh my god. Ah, oh, there's a very high chance it's grenade locked, honestly. So, uh... 50-50 now. Yeah, let's 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 say 50-50. I'm I'm gonna go with the grenade locked. Uh, that's my mind is telling me it is grenade locked, and Sirius is hope hoping it is not at this point. So let us see what it is. First reload there to skip the first half of the cutscene. Now waiting for the lanterns to light up to then uh, rekindle and reload again. Yep, and there we go. And is water rain going? to be here it is it oh. is uh, that's, bailed out that's sad that's really sad 50 50 one time but uh it is not sad for Sirius, who is now in full go mode one tree left and honestly uh I, I'm, I'm going. If, if I have to bet between, uh, oh yeah, he also needs to find sunstone first. So, depending on his order of checks, liftoff actually has enough time if he does butter cell first, and then does uh, like above DG. I don't know if he checked that yet. If, if, if we get the slow checks, then this might actually be straight up tied. Liftoff already has the horror teleporter. Uh, oh, but liftoff is. Loading out of Misty? Oh, did he? Oh, he. Is he worried about it being grenade locked? 
I I was looking at the other screen. I didn't see when he teleported out. Oh, uh, Chuck is saying he loaded a backup save. Did he forget to check one of the first pickups? And it's just rechecking that? Oh, I don't know what's happening, but... Oh, uh, no. Oh, no. We're gonna yeah, have to... This is really unfortunate. We'll have to find out later because he was he was so close to being back into this and now he has to do all of Misty again. That is oh that's a lot of time loss, unfortunately. That's very painful. That is true, yeah. He is doing the entirety of Misty again, so uh maybe something soft dog, maybe Misty was in a weird state. I didn't see it and uh he is currently redoing the entirety of the first half. Luckily for him, Sirius is still checking everywhere but the actual Sunstone, so that's good for him. But uh, honestly, an extra half of Misty is a lot of time, and I don't think it's going to be enough at this point unless Sirius has troubles with the final escape. Yeah, I mean, everything, as far as Sirius' routing choices are here, everything's going right for a liftoff. If he had unfortunately just been able to close out Misty there, he might be back in it or have the lead here even, potentially. Uh, Sirius, though, um, almost certainly about to find the Sunstone here when he checks this and will just be able to continue on. Um, has to go to get the Bash Tree, but uh, I think while he's here, he's going to go get the Horu Teleporter, most likely, so he doesn't have to walk back here again. Ruck is saying he got the plant, but the second part of Misty did not load. That is, oh, that is so unfortunately unlucky. Um, I'm not sure if there's anything that a runner can do to affect that happening or not. Like, is there a, is it a mistake or is it just bad luck or what? Uh, I'm that, that's above my pay grade. Right? I know that uh, if you're having hardware issues, that the game can just decide not to load. So, uh, yeah, that's. That's that's kind of oh yeah. So I've had that before, but I don't remember what caused it. Uh, on on some of my practice saves where I activated the tree and Misty just didn't change. Uh, that's and, really unlucky. And it doesn't get fixed when you reload your save. So yeah, uh, honestly, uh, game kind of rocked lift up there a little bit. That's that's really really sad. I had to do the first half of Misty, this would have been incredibly close if that didn't happen. Yeah, I mean, if the two runners finish and their and your liftoff is only within a few minutes of, of Sirius, I mean, I think it's it's pretty safe to say that having to do Misty again uh, very likely cost the race, unfortunately, which that's, uh... And that's, this tough breaks, unfortunately. There's really no way about... no, no two ways about it. it it's rough, but, uh... Let's see for now how this is turning out, and then we can talk about that part after the race. Um, we're gonna get track onto timing this, and then we, we can figure out some stuff afterwards. For now, Sirius is in the second half of Ginzo, actually doing some extra checks here on the way to Bash Tree. And, uh, well, I can see why he duped up to four keystones to have enough keystones for Ginzo. However, he had to do the entirety of Misty and that's four extra keystones, which means we do need to do lower Ginzo key dupe here. Setting up the safe anywhere to save in the portal room and then we go all the way back to the keystone door, die there and then go all the way back to the keystone door. One extra round. So three rounds of Ginzo in total to get our two extra keystones. And that's just because we were lucky enough to find one keystone uh, right in front of the door. So yeah, that, that will be the key dupe right here. And now he just has to do Ginzo one more time and get his bash tree, which means he will then be able to finish out the seat. So many, uh, so many unfortunate things for Sirius here that uh, could have put Liftoff back in this without the without the Misty problem. But you know, we're uh, we're still seeing some extremely good play out of both of our runners here. So regardless of the outcome here, I think both of these runners definitely have a lot to be proud of about their performances here. Sirius collecting his final tree and already has the uh, the teleporter and is ready to just head straight on over and finish out the seed. Now. Um, I imagine for runners of this caliber, the escape is not going to be too big of a problem, but you know, without without wall interaction, it can be a little bit tough, definitely. 
Yeah, but uh, as you mentioned, at this point, we do actually have a lot of health, right? 7 health on Ultra Defense is really, really good. And uh, for the left side, charge jump and triple jump is just barely enough. Need to do any any fancy fire shenanigans. Now, if we had wall jump instead of charge jump, this would be pretty brutal. But uh, luckily, it is not. Oh, yeah, uh, skill. Oh, too late. Just wanted to start calling a skill, but no, we're getting climbed, so uh, escape has just become free. <laughs> yeah, uh, yep. that's the luxury of Master Seeds in the end. Yeah, Master Seeds love putting a skill on the final escape so much that you can almost rely on it. Like, a, very typically, if you're in a Master Seed and you're one skill short of being able to do the escape, just go start it. You'll probably get what you need. That's that's just kind of how it works. And yeah, that's... cruising through this final escape here just has to float up and cross the finish line and Sirius will be taking the win here, barring like his computer crashing right now or something like that. That is true. Yeah, GG Sirius finishing in about 48 minutes. Uh, honestly, Seed has been very nice, but also you need to be able to capitalize on it and that uh, both of our runners really did gonna get really nice sub our master times here. But for now, Sirius will have to do some uh, some holding right before he can lock in his place in the finals of this tournament. But let's actually look on the left. Are we gonna get the C dash? Yeah, all right. Liftoff is uh, setting up for C dash redirect on Gin. So sadly, doesn't quite get it. So uh, one funny thing: if you do the C dash redirect here, you can then go to the go to the um, puzzle piece and start pushing it and because of the way the floor is shaped it actually gives you a, a wider angle to do the c dash redirect it's, it's kind of a small little trick you can do to have a bit of an easier time with it but uh lift of now getting it deleting the minibus and will then also have to key you because even with all the pickups that's just three keystones and look at that oh, he doesn't no. even he doesn't even put it up to chance he just goes uh for the key dupe spot immediately meanwhile serious on the right hopping to victory 48 30 66 gg again taking the victory in this and at this point uh we have timed it with uh, the extra Misty and the, the figuring out that the game softlocked. That was about two and a half minutes. So even without Sirius would have taken the win, seeing how the final escape kind of isn't doable in this time. But still, would have been a lot closer if the game had actually behaved. Yeah, of course, not happy that Liftoff had that happen, but it, it is kind of a relief that that wasn't the thing that decided the race definitely you never you never want to know that like something like a technical issue was the deciding factor and uh you know really solid time out of both these races i feel like actually it doesn't even quite do justice to how nice the seed was because this is a 48 30 where they had to do guman seal and key dupe multiple times in in ginso like there were several very slow things in this seed and they still got a 48 30. Yeah, and one uh, thing that kind of happened there was uh, Liftoff accidentally rekindled his save after setting up the key dupe. So he was too high, so he's going to need to do it once again to actually get his keystone. Also unfortunate that he actually leveled up on the way there, so the, uh, the dying part took a bit longer. But now it looks like we should be good to go once we charge jump twice into the brambles here. We should respawn with four keystones. And now takes a death to the brambles which means we're going to need to do once again oh i'm sending hux lift off that is so painful oh and I'm, I'm sure he's just starting to get a little flustered too and that makes it harder to recover once your nerves are starting to get to you um if he's watching the race time he does know that sirius has finished so maybe some of the, the pressure has been taken off but you know it's uh it's still something that can get in your head quite easily when things start to go wrong like this. Yeah, the zero HP save is great for doing the key duel, but it does require you to actually spam your jump button immediately in order to respawn. So uh, that's just how it goes sometimes. But now Liftoff has done his 10 trees at about the 51 minute mark. Uh, might even set up another save anywhere. Nope, never mind. Not gonna go for that, but can now teleport to Haru 
and finish out the race. Or actually, uh, we just got to lift out just DNF, but still, he has finished. Uh, he has finished his ten trees. And let's be honest, at this caliber, the escape would only have been a formality. So GG to lift off for a great showing, even through that tech issue where the seed just decided that the second half of Misty is off limits today. Yeah, excellent work out of both of our racers. Um, and, you know, obviously GG to Sirius for taking the win, but definitely a big GG to lift off for keeping his composure after a tech issue like that and continuing to play well afterwards. That's uh, It'd be so easy to let that get in your head and just completely throw off the rest of your seed. But, you know, he figured it out, solved the problem, and continued on really admirably, I think. He sure did. And uh, let's take a look. Looks like Sirius is actually here to be for an interview. So, hello, Sirius, and GG on the win today. Thank you, thank you. All right, so uh, the obvious question we have to start off with is Misty. I mean, that's that's the whole question, Misty. What were you thinking? Well, there was that one pickup that was mildly scary. But that kind of situation is special because at least my approach to it is if I skip that one pickup in Misty and I find out Misty has the water vein and that's the water vein, my chances of winning are so low that there's no point in routing around that possibility. So I'll just play and pretend as though it's entirely impossible for that to be water win. And sometimes it works. Yeah, and it certainly uh, certainly bailed you out a little bit here. Um, we were, of course, all rooting for it to be the grenade locked pickup so that yes. everybody would suddenly go from having a great seed to a good seed. Sandstone could have been grenade locked too. There were some opportunities. GG. And it looks like we have liftoff here as well. GG, uh, really unfortunate to have to deal with the weird tech issue with Misty, but we all thought you handled it uh, very well, kept your composure, and played it very nicely. So GG to you as well. Well, I wouldn't call all that that performance against all keeping my, my composure, but I guess we'll go with it. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, no, I... Uh, it's when you encounter something like that, like especially in a tournament setting, there's there's it's totally understandable to have to take a minute to try and figure it out. Um, so, yeah, yeah, no, I, I think everybody here definitely respects how well you uh, kept your head there. So um, I guess this will be kind of a question for both of you here. This uh, I'd say really outside of the water vein being on um, being on Gumon seal, like the rest of the seed was was very, very kind. Uh, when you're playing Master Seeds, do you... Let's start with uh, Liftoff first. Do you like your Master Seeds to be like this, or do you really like Master Seeds to just be, like, grueling and miserable? I mean, I... I like the variety you get, right? I like that if you just... Sometimes, that you sometimes have pretty quick stuff that wouldn't be super out of place in Expert, and then you sometimes... You have, like, those two-hour slogs with difficult tricks and weird logic all over the place. I think in this in this race I would have probably been. I think I would have had a better chance at finishing at winning it if it had been if it hadn't been quite this jet. But yeah, that right, makes a lot of sense. Serious, same question. It's a very specific thing about the seed that irritated me, and it always irritates me if I don't have any kind of wall interaction. No wall jump, no climb, and no double jump. I think it showed through at some moments that I'm not always well able to handle that. Oh, you didn't find yeah. double jump? Interesting. I did eventually, just in the early game. Oh, okay. Yeah. Otherwise, I mean... I don't mind some speed. There wasn't a lot of master in there, but there was a lot of starved in there. Talking of water wind. <laughs> oh yeah, is that any questions from you? Um, yeah, I guess uh, we can talk early game a little bit. So uh, we we had one of the, I guess the the master or I guess expert part in the start was we we got a lot of swimming and a lot of. Uh, <laughs> teleporters underwater so we got the double tp chain and then uh you know some dash here some double jump there so 
I guess the two questions are, first of all, these teleporter starts, how, how do you round a route around them? When do you decide to just take a teleporter versus finishing out the area? And then the second question, uh, go mode and double jump or are you still looking for anything? Well, um, so this doesn't line up at all with what I did in this race. But generally, it does feel like the randomizer, if it gives you an important item, it wants you to use it. So if it gives you a teleporter, you probably actually need that teleporter to find the next important pickup. And that makes you want to leave as soon as possible. But sometimes there's a really strong contradictory effect to that, where you just don't want to leave pickups behind because it still feels risky. And at least in this case, I didn't really dare push that too much. Yeah, and uh, same question to you, Liftoff. Yeah, um, same general thought. It's serious, I guess, um, especially in Master, since the Siege Engine started there. Um, if you find something, then the chances of it actually leading you somewhere, like the next piece of progression being locked behind that, are pretty high. Right? So if you and teleporters are of course included in that, um, unless unless it's a full-on TP without a Guma seal. So um, so yeah, when I found that Grotto TP, I was fairly certain that that would lead to further progression up there. And then I found the Swamp TP, and that led me to further progression. So no surprises there. I think I should have still been more aggressive in actually playing into that. But you, but you also still need resources and whatnot. So yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah that's and an I've... aspect. Sorry. Sorry, and I forgot your second question. Uh, let's actually uh, stay here for a bit, since you had some thoughts on this series with the resources. That's actually an aspect that's extremely relevant in Master, because you can be forced to do triple jump, you can be forced to do ultra defense, and even if you're not forced, it's often really convenient to damage boost your way up to Storm Bless, Storm Tree, and such. If you skip too many pickups, you're just short on ability cells, and Master likes to place a lot of ability cells early on. So I think that's the actual reason that weighs the strategy in the direction of, yes, do collect. And, and we even had a very funny example here where we kinda had uh, Dash and Sunstone come into Logic at the same places, but then there was basically nothing in Horu. It was all Dash progression. Um, so yeah. some, sometimes you just need to dig a bit more uh, or the seed will randomly decide not how it's going to work. So I guess I have one closing question for you, Sirius. Um, so next match is Ruby versus Infinite uh, tomorrow at 5 p.m. UTC. Any thoughts or predictions on that, seeing how you're going to need to face the winner of that match? I didn't really expect to get that far, to be honest. Um, let me think up something on the fly. Well, I do see Infinite in the truck helping with this match. Very kind of him. I'll be sure to spy back in his match against Ruby Yoshi. Yeah, All right, sounds Oh, go ahead. Uh, I was just going to say, Sirius, uh, careful what you say now, right? Infinite is watching over you right now. <laughs> Alrighty, so thank you so much to both of you racers. GG to you both. Uh, Sirius, thanks for uh, GG for taking the win and lift off. Very good performance out of you as well. Uh, Inf uh, sorry, Zemsis, thank you for commentating with me. Always a pleasure. Anytime. Absolutely. So as mentioned, the next match is Ruby Yoshi versus Infinite, which is going to be tomorrow at 5 p.m. UTC. Hope, uh, hope we see you all there and looking forward to some more Master Seed Rando Ori. Everybody have a good day.